Have you ever felt stuck in your career that you chose so many years ago but now you're questioning yourself whether you made the right decision? Or maybe you feel like you've worked so hard to get to where you are only to realize that it's not really bringing you the happiness that you thought it would. But let me tell you, you're not alone. And today I want to talk about something that's been on my mind for a while. You know, why so many mechanical engineers, myself included, at times are not happy. And I want to be real with you, you know, I want to have an honest conversation because this isn't just about the profession, it's about us, about our expectations about what we've been told and what we've told ourselves. So let's address the statistic, you know, why so many mechanical engineers aren't happy. And I think a big part comes down to misaligned expectations. You know, think back to when you decided to become a mechanical engineer. You know, for me, it was this vision of designing incredible machines, solving real world problems, and maybe, just maybe, changing the world. And I bet many of you had a similar dream. But fast forward a few years and reality hits hard. Instead of working on groundbreaking innovations, you're stuck troubleshooting conveyor belts in a factory or updating AutoCAD drawings for HVAC systems. Now, is that important to work? Absolutely it is. But is it fulfilling? I don't think so. And then there's the disconnect between what we learn and what we do. Like university sets us up to think that engineering is this grand, exciting, intellectual pursuit. But the workplace often doesn't feel that way. You know, you spend so many years uh, mastering fluid dynamics, thermodynamics, machine design, and then you end up filling out spreadsheets or attending endless meetings that don't require half of what you learned. It's not that the work is bad, it's just that it feels disconnected from the passion that got us here in the first place. And this disconnect over time starts to eat us away. We begin questioning our decisions. Did I choose the wrong career? Should I have pursued something else? These doubts don't just come from within. You know, they're amplified by what we see around us. You know, friends in other fields seem to be thriving. You know, earning salaries that are super hefty, making us wonder if our efforts are being valued enough. And then this creates a cycle of comparison that only deepens our dissatisfaction. Which brings us to the topic of money and recognition. Now this might sting a little, but mechanical engineers, despite all our skills and all the value that we bring, um, we are often undervalued. Like how many times have you seen someone in tech or in finance or even in sales and thought to yourself like, wait a minute, how much did they make again? And for what? Now I'm not complaining about the money, like, you know, mechanical engineers earn above average salaries, but compared to tech or, you know, we know like we are very much underappreciated. Because you know, it's not just about the money itself, but it's about feeling that your hard work and your expertise is appreciated. Because let's be honest guys, it's hard to feel motivated when you're you know, often underpaid or overlooked. On top of that, it's not just about external validation. It's about our own sense of self-worth. You know, we pour our hearts into complex designs, troubleshooting issues, uh, meeting tight deadlines. And yet, when the end product is delivered, the credit often doesn't go to us. You know, it goes to the company or the brand or even the managers. It's as if the mechanical engineers are invisible, you know, the unsung heroes of every success story. And over time, that invisibility can be exhausting. Now look, these problems are existing, you know, they are relevant and they're real. But we often always think that the grass is greener on the other side. The truth of the matter is that these problems exist in other fields as well. You know, you may think as a mechanical engineer that these external factors are what's contributing to your unhappiness. But in my personal opinion, I don't think that this unhappiness is purely external. You know, some of it comes from within us. Because think about it, you know, as mechanical engineers, we're problem solvers by nature. We're trained to look at things critically, you know, to find flaws and then to optimize them. But sometimes we turn that same critical lens inward. We see our own lives as a series of problems to solve. You know, why am I not making more money? Why am I not happier? Why am I not working on cooler projects? And it becomes this endless loop. Instead of appreciating the journey, we focus on what's missing. And then there's the culture of engineering itself. You know, it's not exactly warm and fuzzy, is it? You know, we're taught to be logical, to be analytical, or sometimes even a bit stoic. Talking about emotions and about dissatisfaction, well, that's not really part of the engineering playbook. So when we're unhappy, we don't always know how to deal with it. We just bury it. We keep going and we hope that things will get better. 
And in doing so, we just end up isolating ourselves. We think that we're the only ones feeling this way, that everyone else seems to be content and thriving. But the truth is that many of us are in the same boat. We just don't talk about it. And that silence makes the problem feel even bigger than it is. So here's a perspective that I want to offer you. you know, what if the problem isn't engineering itself? What if it's how we have framed it? Think about it. Engineering at its core, it's about solving problems. And maybe the key to finding happiness in this field is to stop focusing on what the job isn't and start focusing on what it is. Maybe it's about finding the pieces of work that light us up and doubling down on those. Maybe it's about creating opportunities for ourselves instead of waiting for them to be handed to us. And maybe, just maybe, it's about expanding our definition of success. It's not about the title, the salary or the prestige. It's about balance, about growth, about finding meaning even in the small things. You know, success could mean mentoring the next generation of engineers. Or it's about contributing to a project that makes a real difference, even if it doesn't make headlines. It could mean using our skills to solve problems outside of work. Building something for our community, for example, or contributing to causes that we care about. Now look, I'm not here to sugarcoat anything. You know, mechanical engineering isn't perfect, but no career is. So if you're feeling unhappy, I want you to know two things. Number one, it's okay to feel that way. And number two, you're not stuck. You have the power to reshape your path, to find joy in unexpected places, and to rediscover why you chose this field in the first place. So don't settle for unhappiness, you know, challenge it. Let's engineer a better experience for ourselves, for each other, and for the next generation of mechanical engineers. We need to start conversations, share our stories, support one another. Because when we come together, we cannot just transform our own lives, but the culture of engineering itself. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.